robots are wonderful. Oh my gosh. I've been to the robotics comp competition several times, so this is exciting that they have them on display out here. Uh, I'm Glenda Ritz. I want to thank you for coming to my special announcement. Um, and I want to thank my husband, Gary, for coming with me, my husband of 38 years. Um, so today in Indiana, a young high school graduate is preparing for college and the challenges that go along with it so that she can have opportunities her parents never dreamed. As the first person in my family to graduate from college, I understand the difficulties families face every day and the incredible doors that can be opened for us and for future generations with education. Today in Indiana, a father continues to work more for less and he worries that he may need to leave the community that he loves because we no longer are creating the good paying jobs that built our great state. As the mother of two children that have moved away from Indiana, I know all too well that many of our best and our brightest feel that they do not have the opportunities they need here and they look to other places to live and raise a family. Today in Indiana, crime and drug abuse tear apart some communities at an incredible human cost and a fiscal cost to our state. As someone who works every day to keep our schools safe and sees the effect of drug addiction has on children, I know the necessity of safe and secure communities. Today in Indiana, state government is growing bigger, more expensive, and more removed from the needs of taxpayers, while working Hoosiers shoulder more of the state's tax burden. As someone who has seen politics drive the creation of an entirely new government agency just to take away the authority from the Department of Education, I am well aware of the need to use tax dollars wisely so that Hoosiers get the government that they deserve. Today in Indiana, out-of-touch Republican leadership at the State House embrace policies that tear Hoosiers apart instead of bringing us together. These realities are why today, in order to move Indiana forward, I am announcing my candidacy for the Democratic nomination for Governor of Indiana. And now let's talk about moving Indiana forward. As I travel around the state, I see the needs of Hoosiers every day. To move Indiana forward, we need a governor who will focus on those needs, education, jobs, economic revival, and community revitalization. As a current elected official of Indiana's executive branch of government, I am proud to serve as your superintendent of public instruction. I oversee the Indiana Department of Education and ensure the effective use of $8 billion to serve our 1 million school children. In just two years, we have seen incredible improvement in our schools. I created the Division of Outreach, which proactively works with schools throughout the state to provide much needed support. These professionals are spread throughout Indiana and work in communities they know, love, and want to see improve. Incredibly, that had never happened before. As governor, I will replicate the success of this service model by bringing other state services to our schools. This will let us directly provide much needed wraparound services to families, such as job training, food assistance, access to health services, and prevention programs, and more. To move Indiana forward, Indiana needs an education system that includes quality early learning opportunities for all children, as well as college and career pathways for all students. And we need a leader that understands the connection between education and economy rather than simply having a partisan agenda to create more schools. <laughs> education is a catalyst for the advancement and improvement of our economy. We need an education system of equity and high quality throughout the state that will produce a well-educated and a well-paid workforce. As governor, I will work with leadership from both parties to invest in our people so that we can create and retain jobs, support essential industries, and encourage technological innovation that will drive economic growth for years to come. We must have the courage to retool for new careers and help our workers develop the high-tech skills that our global economy absolutely demands. Under my leadership, the state will work with all facets of business and industry, union and non-union, profit and non-profit, to act on this shared vision. We are the crossroads of America, 
but we want to keep that title. We cannot continue to neglect the needs of our local communities and the needs for improved infrastructure in our towns, our cities, and our counties. Six million Hoosiers need to know that their state cares about their communities and their future. Our cities, counties, and taxpayers deserve a state government that will work with local government to revitalize communities from the ground up. We will bring programs closer to Hoosiers while saving tax dollars. Working together, we can make big ideas work within a conservative fiscal reality. We will make ethics and openness a high priority. And finally, no candidate for this or any other office can ignore the disaster made by the current leadership who used religious rights as a divisive political issue during the last session of the General Assembly. We must respect the personal and civil rights of all of Indiana citizens and bring forward legislation that respects the rights of all Hoosiers. As the 200th anniversary of our great state approaches, I am asking you to help me become your 51st governor so that we can have leadership that listens to all sides and that respects the diversity of our great state. We need leadership that focuses on education, jobs, economic revival, and meeting the needs of our children and families to revitalize our communities. Today in Indiana, we need to move forward. Today in Indiana, we have a lot of work to do, but we have never shied away from hard work. I am asking that you guarantee that tomorrow in Indiana will be better than today. Thank you. And for all the supporters out there, um, you can go to glenderitz.com and let's get started and make this happen.